Hi, my name is Tom Healy. I'm with Electro Industries, and today we're going to be talking about the manual limit controls used in our boiler products. Uh, from time to time, uh, we can have a failure, uh, such as a pump fail or maybe a relay fail, that causes this limit to trip. Uh, first thing I want to do is take a look at how this limit works, and then we can actually go into a boiler to show you where to find this reset switch uh, to be able to get the boiler up and running again. So first thing is here's the switch itself and the way this device works it's called a snap disc switch and once it reaches 205 degrees Fahrenheit on top of the boiler vessel this little disc will flip direction causing an internal switch to open. When that happens the high voltage power that goes through the switch no longer is able to go through. It'll sit on one side of the switch until we reset it. So in order to reset it a small brass part on top of the switch. You simply depress it when you hear it click and you know that it's been reset. Because this is a high voltage part we need to make sure that we shut the power off to the boiler before we open up the cover. And to do that we've got uh, one or two maybe even three circuit breakers on the front of the boiler that cut the power to the elements. Once we've shut the power off then we're able to open the cover up and look inside the boiler. So in the case of this boiler, we've got two limits up at the top. And you can see here that the switch is tripped. So what we need to do is simply press that in, reset the switch. Close the cover back up. Turn the circuit breakers back on, give the boiler a heat call if it's not already have a heat call, and check to see if we start getting heat out of the system.